Hello, welcome to today's class. Of course, it's a Congo favor here, the helped one. So in today's class, I'll be teaching us how to achieve this amazing birthday flyer using just our smartphone. Let's get to our Pixel Lab. So this is my Pixel Lab here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it and open it. So when you open it, this is the default of your Pixel Lab. The first thing you're going to do is to click on this icon, which is the test icon. Click on delete and delete the new test. Good. The next I'm going to do is to click on my background icon here. Look at it here, the fourth icon down. Click on color. Click on the top. You can select any color here, but I want to use black because this is not the background we're making use of. So I'm just going to mark this good sign, okay? Good. The next thing I'm going to do is to click on this center icon here. Click on import. I'm going to click on these three dots here. Click on browse. I'm going to locate the background. This is the background I want to use. I'm just going to go ahead and select it. Mark this good sign here. So this is the background we'll be making use of. Now from this small dot here, you can increase the size of this. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and increase the size of this and position it like this. Now there is something that happens in Pixel Lab. When you tend to increase the size of anything in Pixel Lab, it reduces the quality of the pixels of that stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Okay. Then delete the old one. Good. Then I'm going to position this one here. Okay. It's not cover very well. Just increase it a bit. Make sure it covers everywhere. Okay, there is no dark part is showing. Go by seeing it perfect. The next thing I'm going to do now is to click on this icon below the three dots on the top right hand. Click on this padlock icon to lock this. Where we will lock it to avoid it moving or disturbing us when we are making our grading our design. So to go back, click on that same icon below the three dots and go back. Good. Just click on any part of the um background and it will go back to normal mm -hmm. so i'm going to click on import again i want to bring in the design we will be making It'll be great so this is it here so we'll be looking at it and be very fast okay this is simple i will not take us time the next thing we're going to do is to click on import i want to bring in the um the message picture okay i'm going to locate right it will be in my photo room okay i've already sent it to us so just make use of it so I'm going to locate it. So this is the picture here. Okay. I'm just going to crop out this unnecessary white spaces on the top. Okay. But don't crop out her hair though. Okay. Just somewhere here. Bring this here like this. Okay. I'm going to mark this good sign. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do now is to increase this picture. Okay. This is much. Let me reduce it a bit. Okay, good. Like I said before, immediately you increase it. The next thing I'm going to do is to copy. Okay, then delete the old one. Okay, then we're going to bring this particular one here. Make sure it's positioned at the center. Very, very important. Okay, so this is it here. Good. Okay, I would like to increase this more. Click on crop. Hmm? Let me crop out some parts here. Hope you're seeing it. Mark this good sign. Bring it here. Good. This is giving me what I want now. I'm going to copy it, then delete this one. Bring this one here. Please make sure you watch the video I sent on complete introduction to Pixel Lab, okay? To help you to navigate this um, um, interface of Pixel Lab very, very well. Okay, so I'm going to position this at the center here. Okay. Good. You, to make sure it's at the center, we can also scroll by the right. Go to relative position. Click at this first center one. Hope you are seeing it. It will position it at the center for us. Sometimes you may click that and it will not give you exactly what you want. Just use your hand and arrange it. Okay. So for now, this is perfect. This is okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and lock it. So click on this icon below the three dots. Click on the padlock icon and lock it. Click on that same icon below the three dots and go back. Please pay attention. Good. The next we'll be doing now, I want to show you how to put this um, shadow effect. That white shadow effect you are seeing there is very simple. So go ahead, click on shape. Pay attention to what I'm doing. Still on that same place, go down. You see color and gradient. Click on gradient. I already have it here, but I will show you how to do it from scratch. Pay attention. Scroll by the right. 
select this default white and black color the first white and black you will see in your pixel app select it good still on that same place click on this plus icon please don't go out now still here when we get to this place select you see we have white here we have black here okay what i'm going to do is to select this white when you select it you see something that looks like a yellow color on it it means you have selected it okay when you select it click on this last icon here we have one two three four five six seven there's seventh icon okay go down click on it good it will bring you to this um color wheel the next thing i'm going to do is to drag the transparency of this to this place drag it like this the last one to the very end you want it to be transparent completely okay when you're done doing that click okay click okay again then mark this good sign perfect the next thing i'm going to do is to rotate this with from this curve you will rotate this like this okay bam good Bring it here, drag it from this place, from this small dot there. So drag it to get to the end of this background. I hope you are seeing it good. The next thing I'm going to do is to reduce it like this. Okay? Just select it from here. Good. And then move this down here. Let me reduce it a bit more. Wait. Okay? Bring it here. Hope you are seeing it. Good. Then I'll scroll by the right. Pay attention and see what I'm going to do. Click on color. Click on enable. We are seeing it. It gives us a red color. But I don't want to make use of red. Based on the close though that I see, and we have red in our beret, but I don't want to make use of it. So I want to make use of white. We are seeing it. It's more beautiful now. Okay. I'm going to mark this good sign. I'm going to go ahead and copy the same shadow effect. Bring it down here. Depending on what you want. This can be enough for you. If it's not, you can bring more. We are seeing it perfect. So, this is how to achieve this shadow effect. We have many other ways you can achieve this, okay? But this is one of them and one of the simplest, okay? So, make sure you lock it to avoid them moving. Click on the same icon below the three dots and lock three of them, okay? Then I click on that same icon to go back. Then, the next thing now, I'm going to bring in this happy birthday. That is not um, just an object, okay? We're going to bring it in. So, I'm just going to click on import, okay? I'm going to locate where it is. It's supposed to be. Let me look for it. I think it should be on my flowers. Okay. So let's look for it here. Okay, this is it here. Look at it. I'm going to bring it in. This is it here. Mark this good sign. We're just going to bring it down here. If you are seeing it. Then scroll by the right. Go to relative position. Use it and position it at the center. Hope you are seeing it. Perfect. We are almost done. The next thing is to put in her name. Okay, before we put in her name, let's bring in those stuff there. So I'm going to click on import. This will also be my my, my flowers, okay? So this is it, yeah? I'm going to bring it in. Mark this good sign. So I'll just go ahead and rotate it. Then position it here. Make sure that these two sharp edges are not showing, okay? Yes. So just drag it in like this. If you are seeing it, perfect. Copy it. Bring it down. You can rotate it to give you what you want, okay? Bring it down like this. Hope you are seeing it. Let me rotate this more, okay? So I'm just going to place it here, okay? Let me come, okay? Perfect. So this is okay. Let me drag this in a bit. Just take your time and arrange it to give you what you want, okay? So I'm going to place it like this. Good. Go ahead and lock it. By now, you already know how to lock, okay? Good. The next thing is to type in her name. Click on the A icon. Click on test. Click on edit. And type in Miss Chingu. Okay? Okay, click OK. I'm going to reduce the size. Then bring down her name here. Scroll by the right, go to color. We'll be using black. Okay, mark this good sign. Then scroll by the right again. Come go to fonts. Pay attention. From here, I'll be choosing the font I want to use. We have some default um, fonts in your Pixel Lab here that your Pixel Lab comes with. But then you can download fonts to your Pixel Lab, to which I have also taught us in the class. So make sure you watch the video on how to do that. So I'm going to go to my fonts. Yeah, this is my font. 
I will make use of a particular font here called Nasa Heavy. So I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to reduce this to then bring that name here. Then go to relative position and make sure it's also positioned at the center. Hope you are seeing it. Okay, let's bring it up a bit. Good. Happy birthday, Mr. Chimwe. Blessed. So click on the center icon. Click on shape. Drag this radius to the end to form a circle. Then reduce it. Bring it here. Okay, we're just going to use it to write her name. Then mark this good sign. Good. The next thing is to click on shape again. Please pay attention here and see what I'm going to do. Come to radius. Um, increase the radius. Let's say to 10. Good. Go down. Still on that same place. Come to opacity. Reduce the opacity to 0. Hope you are seeing it. Good. Go down. Come to stroke width. Increase the stroke width. Let's say 5. Okay. Then still on that same place. Don't go out. Reduce it like this. Okay. Reduce it to give you what you want. Okay. Okay. Good. So this is okay for me. I'm going to mark this good sign. Hope you are seeing it. Okay. So we're just going to use our hand and move it, position it to make sure two of them are very good. So the next thing, I'm going to click on this message. more blessed. Click on my A icon. Click on copy. Click on edit and put in the date. Okay. 5th September. Okay. So it's very small. It's too small. Yes, I'm just going to go to size and increase it from there. So I can be able to move it. Hope you are seeing it's good. So I'm just going to go ahead and move it, bring it to the center. Then I will scroll by the right. Pay attention and see what I will do next. Click on align, click on center align. So this is now center align. But then if you look at this, I don't like the space in between that fifth and the September is kind of much so i'm just going to select it there scroll by the right pay attention and see what i will do come to line spacing and reduce it look at it i've seen it it has been reduced then i'll go ahead and increase the the date more not that much don't increase it to be too much as you are designing you're looking at what you are designing and you're coming up with something good okay okay so finally i'm going to copy it again edit I'll write in, I'll click on my number, click here, I'll get this, this dot, then mercy, okay, grace, favor, blessing, and so many other things you want to write, okay, so I'm just going to bring it here, reduce the size, then I'll go to align. I'll be using this left alignment. So I'll select it. I'll click on that's the left alignment. I'm going to bring it in here. Okay. So I may increase this. Okay. Good. Bring this here. Let me reduce the right tops. Excuse me. Okay, I'm going to go back to line spacing. Yes, and increase it. You know, we copied that um September. So, and that one, we actually increased the line spacing. So, I'm just going to leave this line spacing here. I think this is perfect. Yes, the line spacing is at 1. I increased it. So, I'm going to use my position button and arrange this very well. Please make sure you watch the video on complete introduction to Pixel Lab. It will help you to master these things very well. Hope you are seeing it good. So let's just go ahead and delete this old one. Perfect. So obviously with this, you are done with this amazing design. Hope you are getting value in this class. So okay, let's still position this particular one. Let's move it down a bit. Good. So if you look at this, number one, when we talk of principles of design, here we use center alignment for our design. We use center alignment, okay? Her pictures at the center, happy birthday at the center, Mr. Ching of Blessed at the center, okay? Also, when we talk of reputation, you see me repeating this, um, this flower stuff I put there. You see it on the top, see that it makes your design to come together. Also, the background I make use of, 
if you look at it, it's kind of um works together with the clothes she's putting on. Okay, so there are many these are, and these are more are the things you need to consider when you are um rating your design. So I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, finally, before we go to save your work, click on this icon here. Click on save as project. Remember, you must save as project in case you want to make any corrections. Okay, go ahead and save as project with any name you want. Then click OK. Then save as picture, save as image. This is the one you see in your gallery. Click on save as image. Click on default, select ultra, then save to gallery, and you are done. Bye. Oh, quickly, I forgot to tell us I was able to put the picture in the background. And then you can hardly see it. So I'm just going to click on import. I'm bringing the picture we'll be using for that. Okay. Quickly, quick, fast and sharp. Okay. We're almost there. So this is the picture here. I'm just not going to crop out this part. Crop out this part. Crop out this part. Okay. Mark this good. So I'm going to increase the picture. Want it to be bold, okay? Then copy it and delete the old one. Then I'm going to bring it here. See, pay attention and see what I'm going to do now. Okay, position it here. Good. I want to move this picture to the back of the other one. Click on this icon below the three dot. Using this, you have seen this small, small dot that is into four places. Good. Press hold it. And then drag this. Move it. Until it gets to the back of where you want it to be. Okay, hope you are seeing it. I'm still dragging it. That's how you move this now. It will go to the back of the background. And you will not see it again. Look at it and you see it there. It's at the down part of the background. But I'm going to press hold it. Move it here. Hope you are seeing it. Good. You are still selecting it. I'm going to scroll by the right. And go to opacity. Then reduce the opacity very well. Okay. Maybe we'll leave it at 20. Hope you are seeing it. Perfect. So that's how I was able to achieve that. Okay. Bye.